Hogwarts Legacy DLC is all the fans can talk about lately. I could clearly see that in the comment section of my previous videos where you guys submitted almost a thousand different comments with DLC wishlists and a lot of you have some really creative and interesting ideas for future expansions. So today I want to bring your ideas forward by featuring 12 most wanted DLCs in Hogwarts Legacy. A lot of the fans have expressed the desire for an Animagus quest, where players can embark on a complex quest to master the art of transforming into an animal at will. This DLC would involve learning from skilled Animagi, facing unique challenges as an Animagus, and discovering the true potential of this magical ability. And actually, that skilled Animagi can be Natsai Onai, as she is an Animagus herself and can transform into a gazelle. Plus, we already have the enemies turn into animals. The mechanics are already there. It's just a matter of writing a good story and a quest. So I can totally see this as a very likely option for a DLC. Next one was heavily requested by many viewers, an expansion that introduces multiplayer magical dueling, allowing players to challenge their friends or team up to face other players in intense magical battles. The multiplayer dueling system could have various arenas, ranked matches, and special rewards for successful players. And indeed, we do have a few battle arenas in the game where we can face off waves of enemies. It would be absolutely amazing to have the ability to at least have some co-op options to go on adventures and battle through these arenas together with friends. Though, to see a multiplayer element added to the game in the form of a DLC or an expansion, I now see as a less likely scenario. So I think that's something that can be more expected for a sequel. Some players have suggested introducing a character related to Draco Malfoy, Tom Riddle or Gellert Grindelwald and have an extended quest where we can explore their backstory and potential influence on the game's events. This one is very interesting. We already have Ominous, who is kind of related to Tom Riddle. I believe he's like his uncle. <laughs> but meeting a Malfoy or perhaps somehow exploring their mansion could be really cool. Maybe that mansion was a ruin at some point in the past and that's what we are going to explore. The developers did talk about trying not to overshadow our own character with some big names, but I think this could be a possibility. One of the most requested features is a dedicated Quidditch expansion or DLC. Players want to participate in Quidditch matches, play as a Seeker, Chaser or Keeper, compete for the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup and potentially unlock new Quidditch related quests. I mean, I would absolutely love to have this as a DLC, though it might be a tough call because Quidditch is an elaborate sport which would require unique mechanics to bring to life. And I'm not even talking about fast paced omnidirectional movement. I think that's part of the reason why we're getting a separate game, Quidditch Champions, where the whole purpose of the game is going to be just Quidditch. Though there are some cutout animations that suggest Quidditch was in development at some point, so maybe they simply needed some extra time to work it out and bring it as a DLC. Based on hundreds of comments, players want more in-depth companion quests and interactions, similar to the level of engagement found in games like Dragon Age. This would create stronger connections with companions and enhance the overall role-playing experience. Also, the addition of romance options and deeper character relationships is a recurrent theme. Players want the ability to pursue romantic interests and form stronger bonds with their companions and housemates. And based on certain source codes and hidden dialogues, it looks like both Companions and Roman system were once part of the game. And I can totally relate to the Companion system. With Harry Potter's story, we are used to this companionship between the trio and the rest of the students. They were always doing stuff together, figuring things out, you know. We did have some of that to some extent, but we could definitely use bigger immersion into this mechanic. When it comes to romance, I personally couldn't care less that it's not in the game. I like that option in games like Assassin's Creed, but here, I don't know. But regardless, this is not my list, it's yours. And since it was once thought of to be part of the game, I think it's possible to happen in a form of a DLC or maybe even in a sequel. The Common Rooms interactivity is a commonly mentioned improvement area, an update that adds more interactivity to the Common Rooms, allowing players to engage with housemates, play games, study together and experience dynamic events during different times of day, making the Common Rooms feel more lively and immersive. 
and I couldn't agree more with y'all on this. The common rooms of each house are so detailed in Hogwarts Legacy, but unfortunately, I found myself rarely visiting my dormitory. I would absolutely love to have some kind of a quest where it's like a thunderstorm and we, we don't want to be outside and we kind of buckle up on the sofas and play some mini games or plan for an upcoming quest. I don't know, just the opportunity to get into the vibe of the common rooms is what I'm really looking forward to, which I think is very doable. Some viewers have expressed a desire for an adventure in the Chamber of Secrets, perhaps triggered by a basilisk chase, which is mentioned as an exciting and spooky concept. I mean, I can totally see how this is an often requested part. Chamber of Secrets is an iconic location in the series. It's a place that houses a monstrous creature, and having some quests happen in there could work as a counterpart to Hawksmith Haunted Shop Quest. The entrance is right there, and Ominous speaks parcel tongue. But I don't know if the developers would risk messing with the lore that much. It is known that the chamber was only opened twice, so while I love the idea, I don't think this one is possible. Many players express a desire for more magical creatures and interactions with them. Ideas include exploring underwater environments, encountering merpeople, battling Grindelos, and possibly having Kelpie as a mount. In this DLC, players can join a magical creatures conservation group, learn to protect and study rare creatures found around Hogwarts and beyond. This would also include quests to rescue endangered creatures, build habitats, and defend them from poachers. Yes, 100% on all of this. We do need more beasts in the game and ideally have them assist us in duels, similar to how we use plants. And I love the idea of exploring the depth of the Black Leg and meeting people. I actually think that there's a high probability of something like this happening and I talk more specifically about the people DLC in one of my videos. I'll make sure to put that at the end of the video. There's a request for an ambience mode, allowing players to relax and enjoy the magical surroundings without any specific objectives, providing a more immersive and peaceful experience. Another 100% yes. We need the ability to sit, lay down, dine in the Great Hall, and just like take in the beauty of the castle and the surrounding areas. I mean, we can technically experience the views and walk very slowly pretending we live there. I do that all the time, but, and I mean like for real, I do that. I literally, I can spend 30 minutes just walking around Hogwarts, walk into the Owlery thinking I am in the Prisoner of Azkaban movie. But it would be great if we could do more of those immersive things like playing chess, some, well, that's not really ambience, but you know what I mean? Ambience mode, sit, chill, relax, maybe photo mode here too. Players express interest in expanding the learning experience at Hogwarts, including more in-depth classes, assignments, and preparation for the wizarding job market. Also, a wider variety of spells to learn during those classes, including more light spells to balance out the dark ones. And it's true, classes were more dominant in the first part of the game, and then they kind of faded into the background. And even in the first part, it was more, you know, story related, but I honestly was fine with that. At the same time, if there were more interactive classes to take, or even optional ones, I wouldn't say nay to a crème brûlée. I mean, so many people are asking for this more immersive experience, but I think in general, it's kind of tough creating that mechanic of classes because you gotta have schedule, you gotta have those things. But yeah, if we could have a few more assignments class related and where we could learn more spells, sure, absolutely, yes. An extension of the main story where players progress through years 6 and 7 at Hogwarts. This DLC could introduce new character developments, challenging missions, and deeper exploration of the Wizarding World as the protagonist prepares for life beyond Hogwarts. Okay, I see where people are going with this one. Take care of the rest of the school years in the DLC and have us be an Auror in a sequel. Well, knowing that in every book slash movie we get a full school year, I think that's what the developers are going to try to focus on going forward with sequels. And the DLCs are the things that, you know, it's what going to happen during the summer time. <laughs> but regardless, I do want to see the continuation of the story. You know, the developers wrote really good characters. We got Sebastian, Nat Sionai, Ominous, you know, all of them are really strong characters that I really want to see continuation and I want to see our interaction and whatever happens in the next year. So yes, to the continuation, but not as a DLC. 
And before we get to the last one, here are a few quick mentions. A DLC that involves players to train as an Auror at the Ministry of Magic, involving combat simulations, investigating magical crimes, and honing their magical abilities to protect the Wizarding World from dark forces. An expansion that introduces more depth and interactivity to Hogsmeade Village, including additional shops, activities, and side quests. Players can have the opportunity to participate in festive events like the Yule or Halloween celebrations. A morality-challenging questline where players have the option to delve into the dark arts with consequences for their choices. This expansion could involve interaction with dark wizards, learning more dark spells, and making difficult decisions that impact the storyline. Many players have expressed their eagerness to explore new places beyond Hogwarts, such as other wizarding schools like Ugadu or Ilvenmorny. This would open up opportunities for unique quests, learning new magic, and meeting new characters. But also, some have pointed out that a location like Azkaban could serve as a perfect location in a DLC. And I have to agree with that. Building a new line of assets for DLC would be very time-consuming to bring a school like Elven Morning to life. But Azkaban is already in the game. And that would be so much easier to use those assets and write a brand new quest that would require us to learn Expecto Patronum, go to the prison, talk to someone there, and then go out on the quests and complete some stuff. Maybe some Dementors will get loose somewhere and we will have to investigate for, I don't know, whatever reason. I mean, Dementors aren't the most trustworthy creatures. I just think that there's a lot of potential here with Azkaban. And knowing that all of this is technically already there, I see an Azkaban DLC as a very likely scenario, and visiting other schools might be something left for the sequel. Now, a few of these concept ideas that I featured today were once part of the game, but the developers chose to cut them out. And there are remnants of those things hidden in the game right now. I talk and show some of that in this video, but here you have it. 12 plus awesome ideas from you guys, and I definitely want to continue this conversation down in the comments. So I'll see you there. For now, guys, if you liked this content, you can support it for free by hitting the like button, subscribe button, and all the other buttons of that nature. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.